What's up guys? Welcome back into the Millennial Profit. My name's Adam and I'm a full-time reseller. If you're new here, I show you all different kinds of ways to make money. So if you like money, hit that subscribe button. Today I thought I would go out sourcing because I haven't hit my local stores in a while. I like to do this like once a month and try to get a video for you guys. Whether we hit or not, we're posting this video. But first I've got to hit UPS and the post office and then we're going to hit some stores and see if we can find some profit. So let's get into it. saw big lots on my way out of UPS so you know we got to stop there and see what they have for Christmas time to get scanning see if I can find some bolos for the group loaded up a cart full of these yard arts because they were 20% off I passed on this because it wasn't on sale but I know I'm going to regret passing on it well that was a nice little come up all of Christmas stuff in big lots all of the stuff that has lights in it is 20% off which is absolutely ridiculous especially since they just stocked it. So I may be hitting some more big lots in the future. Not sure if we'll get to any today, but we'll just have to see because that's a pretty good deal. At the post office, so I just bring all my bags here and then the door will either be unlocked, probably not unlocked today because there's only one here. If not, we'll ring the bell and wait. Super easy. I literally didn't plan any of this. I was driving by Lowe's and I'm like, you know what? Let's stop in and see what their Halloween is at. I always like stocking up on Halloween when it's like 75% off and holding it for a year. Easy money. Well, that was a big stee, Reich, but you know, you're gonna take strikeouts in this game as long as you just have more wins than losses. It looks like they were at 50% yesterday and absolutely sold out of everything. So that's pretty crazy. Normally they go to like 75 to 90% before everything's gone. But again, more things were limited this year. So I guess it kind of makes sense. I should have been on it yesterday, but I had to package because it was Monday and Monday is my big packaging day. Also, I didn't show you what I got from Big Lots. These are actually a cold out in bread and butter, but you're welcome. I got a Rudolph and the snowman from Rudolph. I'm guessing these are going to be pretty limited. They only had two of each. So I'm guessing that's all they're getting per store, if that. So hopefully can get over a hundred bucks for each of those here in the coming months. There's really no sold comps on them yet. I'm just going off of past experience with yard arts. I haven't hit my Burlington in a long time. We're right by it. So might as well head over there. And then I'm thinking about hitting my Marshalls and then we might call it a day, but who knows? Never know what we're going to hit. I didn't expect to hit big lots or lows. So we'll just have to see what we find. Psych, I forgot there's another big lots right here. Also, wow, look at the sky. They had some different ones here and I actually found Sunny. I found the golden doodle ones and dog ones always do really well. So there are none of this exact one out there, this golden doodle one, but there's ones from Home Depot and Lowe's that I've called out in bread and butter and those are selling like hotcakes. So I'm gonna set the market on this guy before I call it out. Most likely I'm gonna start getting a lot of views and watchers because of how well the other one is doing. So once I start to see that, then I'll call it out for the group. There's another bolo for you guys. I've been to two big lots, only seen these at one. And I looked online and these aren't online either. So these are probably going to be one that's more limited and maybe not at every store. Lots of dog yard arts like this do well. Now it doesn't say golden doodle and it doesn't really look a ton like one here, but the one they had set up looked exactly like Sunny, my dog. So, you know, I had to pull the trigger on five of these and $35, but 20% off of that, $28 a piece. You can't beat it. These are gonna be going for over a hundred, easy money. All these yard arts are super nice too, because yeah, the boxes are somewhat big, but they weigh like nothing. So these things aren't gonna cost that much to ship, not as much as you would think. Again, if you're not sure and you wanna buy some of these heavier things, open the eBay shipping calculator and type in the dimensions and wait, and then go to your worst case scenario place. So mine is California, that's where it costs the most to ship. So you put that in and that's what your worst case scenario will be. If you're worried about paying on shipping, then just do calculated shipping and you don't have to worry about it. But I'm hoping to do a minimum of $25 profit per box back here. Some of these I may get 35 to $50 profit. I think those golden doodles could go for up to like 120, 140 because like I said, the Home Depot one's already going for like 125, 150. So these could be big time. All right, Burlington, don't let me down. Her lately shoes are pretty trash. Let's take a look at the hats. No, I don't want the Cavs hats. They always have so many Cavs hats here. Oh, those I will probably take. 7.99 with the Blue Jackets Cannon logo. Should easily be able to get 22 bucks a piece for those. kids hat or I would take that 
Not seeing much else over here besides calves. I'm liking the Blue Jackets hats though. Medium, so that's like a medium large and 47 brands. Should be pretty solid. Okay, I really hit the jackpot here at Marshall's. Found these shower curtains. These did well for Halloween, as well as these sheets. I'd had Halloween peanut sheets. We called these out in bread and butter as well. These are all king. I left a lot of the queens because I already picked up some of those at some of the other Marshalls, but I was never able to find this many kings. So this is big money. These all go for about 70 bucks a piece. Well, we really only have room for one more store. We filled up the Tesla. We got time for one more store though. I'm feeling Target. Come on, Target, be good. Christmas section is just getting set up, it looks like, so I'll have to come back in a couple days. It's pretty bare. Or there's no way it's been wiped out this early. All right, guys, that about wraps up my sourcing for today. Again, we didn't have any huge hits, but you know, we found profit everywhere almost. I mean, we struck out a couple places, but like I said, you're gonna strike out. That's a part of the game. I'm just glad I was able to find the things that I was and find some more bolos for the group to call out. Once we get home, we're gonna show you everything that I got and the total profit I'm expected to make on everything that I bought today. Do you guys see the resemblance at all? Sunny. He likes them. Okay, let's go over everything, um, all of these. I'm gonna leave these for later. But first we got Rudolph here. I should make about $30 each on those in about a month when the price goes up. Same with these here. I should make about $30 each. So that's 120 profit right there. Then we've got our five golden doodles. And after further research, I actually should be able to make about $120 right now on these and probably more later, up to 150 possibly. So I should do about $50 each on each one of these. And again, they weigh nothing. I can pick those up with one hand very easily. Now we're gonna go inside and go over all this. All right, so here's all the small stuff I got, mainly from Marshalls, plus these three Burlington hats. Should make about $7 a hat on these. Again, those were $7.99 at Burlington, and I'll list them anywhere between $22 and $25. Easy ship, it's an unstructured hat, so it can go in a poly mailer because it can't be damaged. Then I forgot to mention this in Marshalls, was on the bottom. They started to have Halloween on clearance. This was $8.50. I was selling these all day long for like $45 before Halloween. May have to hold this till next year, but that's okay. Only sitting on $8.50 for a nice profit. You're a big help. Yes, you are. All right. Uh, then we got these shower curtains for $16.99. I wasn't finding this exact design. They have a lot of designs of these. Um, should be able to get about 40 to 45 bucks. The price will keep rising over the next month or so as we get closer to Christmas. So this should be an easy like 12, 15 bucks profit a piece. Then we got all these sheets. I think we have one queen set. Yeah, that's fine. The queen sets will go for about 55 bucks and the kings will go between 60 and $70. Um, I like to move these on Mercari and eBay. These are just easy money. I've moved so many of these and I should make $20 profit per set. So that about does it guys. In about two and a half hours of work, I spent over $350 and I should make over $500 on everything I just told you. I told you all my profit margins and everything I should be making. So I appreciate everyone for watching this video. And again, thank you guys so much for subscribing and getting me over 3000 subscribers. We have just over a month and a half left. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by Christmas and we're gonna be doing some crazy giveaways. If you could share me with your friends and family, I would truly appreciate it. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can do so at millennial underscore profit. You can also check out the cook group and join down below. First link in the description. We are currently open. If you wanna learn more on the group, then you can follow us on Instagram at bread and butter group. Again, guys, don't waste time in parts of the store that you don't know. Go to the parts of the store that you know. I hit my three, four parts in each store that I know. Get in, get out in about 10, 15 minutes. Don't waste too much time. Find a little profit or I don't find anything and I get out of there quick. That's the best way to go. Don't waste time in the parts of the store that you don't know because you're not gonna know what's good deals or what to look up. So focus on the things that you know. There's money to be made everywhere, guys. Let's go get it. Thank you for watching The Millennial Profit. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I'm so thankful for everyone here. I'd really appreciate if you haven't yet to subscribe. I think it would be crazy to hit 5,000 subscribers by Christmas. Let's do it.